This is not something that's just for Bitcoiners. This is for everybody. WhatsApp is for everybody. Facebook Messenger is for everybody. There is no uh, Facebook Messenger -er person. Like there are Bitcoiners. There are no WhatsAppers. WhatsAppers are just people, and Bitcoiners are just people. And so we put just people in front of people to make them understand that anybody can use it. It's useful for everybody. You don't have to be a special person. You don't have to be a expert of any kind. You don't have to have read a book about it in order to use it. You just download Wallet of Satoshi or Samurai Wallet, and then you can use it. It's as simple as that. And there's no sign up. There's no giving away your passport or anything else like that, like any Coinbase account. You don't have to live in a particular country. You don't have to live in the right country in order to uh, use Wallet Satoshi or Samurai Wallet. You just get it onto your phone, and then all of a sudden, the entire world of everybody else who has a Bitcoin app or a Lightning app on their phone is available to you. All you have to do is go into a call like this one that we're on, flash them the QR code, and then I can send you $100 like that. And if you don't happen to have a, uh, a wallet with Bitcoin in it, you can go to, let's say that you're in Sao Paulo, you can go to any place where they sell lottery tickets, buy $50 worth of Bitcoin on an Azteco voucher, and show the, bit, the QR code right here on the screen, and I can receive it in my wallet Satoshi. This is just unbelievable. It's absolutely unprecedented, and it's going to change everything. If we can get people to think about it correctly, to not think that Bitcoin is some kind of special or exotic thing. It's a very normal thing. It's a very boring thing. And unless people are willing to give up the cult aspects of Bitcoin, somebody else is going to come in and uh, demystify it for everybody. Bitcoin mysticism and the mystification of Bitcoin is extremely toxic, extremely bad for Bitcoin adoption. And that's why I'm super excited about this thing here, which is the, well, the controller, the controller thumbpad unit for uh, Bitkey. This application with this device is going to uh, change everybody's thinking about Bitcoin going to make it clear to everybody that Bitcoin is not complicated to use. It's very, very safe, and there is no reason not to use Bitcoin. So that's the kind of thinking that needs to be applied. And if it doesn't happen, the mass adoption of Bitcoin cannot then subsequently follow, and then Bitcoin acting as money in the economy is far less likely to happen, or at the very least, it's going to happen on a, a small, actually at the maximum, it's going to happen on a, on a smaller scale than any real Bitcoiner would desire. All real Bitcoiners want Bitcoin to completely replace fiat money. It's not something to use in conjunction with fiat. Bitcoin was written to replace fiat, and this is a very important, uh, it's a very important task that Bitcoin has, because fiat money is at the center of the root of all of the problems of society, faced by society. It will all be traced back to fiat money, started in 1913 or whatever it was, Jekyll Island. So, Bitcoin is a very important project. We want Bitcoin to be founded in the best countries, whether that's El Salvador or the United States, it depends entirely on the legislatures, whether they're going to be Luddites or they're going to be people who accept that change happens. And then it's going to do its work by itself. And what's so amazing is that uh, the entrepreneurs and business people who are creating the tools and services that work on Bitcoin are doing all the work of spreading Bitcoin uh, to the people. Nobody's asking for government assistance to do any of this stuff. They're paying for it themselves. And so uh, this is... Uh, in that aspect of a superbly ethical effort to replace uh, uh, fiat money with nobody having to beg for fiat money to go away. They're just going to make it go away by providing a better service without firing a shot or doing anything, all on handheld mobile phones. Saying these words sounds like science fiction, 
but it's actually happening. It's astonishing, isn't it? So